Hello. So in this problem, we are given the following figure or plot. We have the X component of some force even in Newtons on the vertical axis. And then on the horizontal axis, we have the time in seconds. Two, four, and negative two. And then the time looks like that. So there is a force that is applied and a force of four Newtons that is applied for three seconds. It looks like this. And then uh, it goes to negative two from three to five seconds. This is an immediate change. And then it goes uh, to zero over here and it continues um, being zero for the rest of the time. So we are told that the force, so this Fx uh, is acting on a mass of two kilograms. 2.0 kilograms. The object is at rest at the origin at zero seconds. What are its acceleration and velocity at t equals six seconds? Well, um, remember that force equals mass times acceleration. So the acceleration is force divided by the mass. So the mass is two kilograms. So then we can divide by two. This will be two, this will be one, this will be minus one. And now this becomes acceleration in X and the units will be meters per second squared. So the rest of the plot remains the same. We just uh, switch the uh, acceleration in, took the force uh, out. Force and acceleration are the same thing. You cannot have one without the other. Remember that. So what is the acceleration at six seconds? Well, uh, it's pretty easy to see that the acceleration at six seconds is zero. It's just given by the plot. And then we have to calculate the velocity. And remember that the velocity acceleration is change in velocity with respect to time. So if we move the time over here, acceleration dt equals dv. And if we integrate, we get the velocity. So the velocity is the area under the curve. Of a acceleration versus time plot, which is exactly what we have over here. So we just have to look at the area over here. So it is two meters per second squared. What do we know? Now velocity is equal to two meters per second squared times three seconds. Um, plus negative one 
meter per second squared times two seconds. Okay, so the velocity is six the seconds go away, six meters per second. No, we have a negative there, so minus. This one goes away with this one, minus two meter per second. And so the velocity is four meters per second at six seconds. I mean, there's another one, another segment, right? From five to six, but that's zero. So we don't have to worry about that one. And that is the answer that we were looking for. Thanks.